Okay, it's finished. Do I want to format bad tracks? Not really, no. System will now restart. Okay. That's all good signs. See, now you we did a low-level format. And now we'll run FDisk and partition the drive, and then we'll run a DOS format. Now, low-level format on an MFM drive is nothing... Uh, you can't low level format a new drive that it's done in the factory and uh, what this does is oh, I did a seat test huh but this uh, low level format does is it it reorganizes the hard drive it realigns the magnetic material on the platters and uh, gets the drive ready is because it's got a stepper motor in there so the, the tracks are determined by wherever the stepper motor goes and the age of the drive and sometimes those tracks can move and when you do a low-level format it puts everything back the way it's supposed to we'll run a F disk now this time there we go we'll just hit enter for one, we'll create a DOS partition then we'll create the primary partition do you wish to use the maximum available? yeah we'll just do one partition because this is DOS 6.22 we can do all 40 megs if this was DOS 3. Point, let me think now 3.3 .3, you'd have to divide it up into two drives because 3.3 .3 only did up to 32 megabytes 3.1 I think went higher all right, we got a disk drive back in there. So now the hard drive is partitioned. Now we can format it with the. Uh, I'll go ahead and put DOS 6.22 on there since since that's what's on it on that floppy disk. And this is actually a. A boot disk for another computer, that's why it's missing all this information. It's not supposed to be reading drive C yet. Fail, fail, come on, abort. This is the auto execute file, it's trying to read the hard drive you have to see. Uh, format C, we'll put slash S, which will copy the boot, boot sectors over. Warning, all data was, will be lost. Well, there's no data on the hard drive, so yes. Oh, now that says 20 megs. Huh. We'll have to look into that later. And then there's my cat. who's just myth that I'm talking to myself and not paying him any attention. Twenty nine percent. So this is like watching paint dry, so we'll skip this. Okay, there we go. And it formatted it for a twenty one meg hard drive for whatever reason. Hmm. Interesting. But now we'll do a okay. take that out. Do a control alt. And success. I think I know why it did a 21 meg. I think the 
controller formatted it for the old hard drive specification and not the new. Well, so what it can do is I have all the information here. Let's go ahead and do do this again. We'll do. Well, this is a. Well, let's just this just proves that the hard drive is working, as old as it is, and it's functioning properly. I just didn't format it. That's the problem with the low-level formatting. If you don't have the right information in there, that's why you got to have a chart like this. If you don't have the right information in there, it won't format it to the right capacity. Right now, this hard drive's at half the capacity it's supposed to be. So let's do debug again. Oops. Let's see. I need to go to the. I need to go off the A drive. Cause that's where the debug program is. We'll leave the interleave alone. This time we'll hit yes. Now here's all the information. You, you don't have to punch in all the information in here, but uh, you separate everything by spaces. So the first thing you enter is the total number of cylinders, which down here says it's 1024. So we'll put 1024 and then put a space. And the number of heads. Well, this says. This is a 6053. This says we have five heads. We'll put five in a space. The next thing on the list is the start reduce right cylinder, which is this here, which is showing the same as 1025. So it really doesn't have a reduce right. See, it skips it and it goes all the way to the end of the cylinder. We need the right pre comp cylinder, which is that. WPC and that is showing 512. So we'll put 512. Um, Maxwell corrected. We don't want that. The CCB operation byte. We don't want that. So we don't have to put the rest of the information there. That's that's the basic information that the controller needs. The number of head or the number of cylinders, number of heads, the uh, reduced right, which is it doesn't have a reduced right, so it, it's higher than the number of cylinders it's going to format. And then the uh, right pre-comp cylinder, which is 512. So about halfway through the drive, it starts reducing the power to the right heads. All right, now we'll hit enter. You want to virtually configure the drive? No. Now we'll format. And there she goes again. We'll see what the result is this time. 